for how many ordered pairs a, b of integers does a polynomial have three distinct integer roots? We just use the as formulas, right? We know the product of the roots is plus minus plus. So R S T, the product of the roots is negative six. So what are kind of the possibilities here? For now, let's just ignore the sign. What are the possibilities for the absolute values of R, S, and T? Well, there's really only two possibilities, one, one, six, or one, two, three, multiplying to six. So now let's take a look at signs, right? Because that's the real part. We either have all three of them negative or one of them negative. So in this first case, we can either have negative one, negative two, negative three, or negative one, two, three, one, negative two, three, one, two, negative three. And as you can see, they all, all have distinct, they're all distinct. Like all these are always distinct from each other. So we're good. For this next one, we can have similar possibilities. Negative one, negative one, negative six. We can have negative one, one, six. We can have one, negative one, six. Or we can have one, one, negative six. Uh-oh. Some of these don't work because they don't have integer roots. Like that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. And we're left with these two possibilities here. But the thing to realize here is they're symmetric. So they're going to produce the same values of a and b, right? Because a and b are just r plus s plus t, negative this, and rs plus sc plus rt. They're symmetric in terms of r, s, and t. So flipping r and s is not going to change it. So in this case, we've got one possibility. In this case, we've got four possibilities, all of which are indeed going to give different, different values of a and b because of the fact that they're all distinct triplets of roots. So our total answer is just going to be 4 plus 1, 5. Hope you enjoyed this video.